For this exercise, I'm going to begin in a half kneeling position. Now the leg on the opposite side or the further side from the wall is going to be pushing into the wall using this ball. This is going to make sure my pelvis doesn't open up as I perform this exercise. So I'm here, my leg is up against the wall, staying stable here, both arms out in front of me. Now I'm going to rotate my outer arm open as far as I can, really opening up my chest. I can pull my shoulder blades back a little bit. I can even push a little into this wall with the opposite arm as far as you can go. If you can get this shoulder to the back wall, even better. This is about my max and I'm going to rotate back forward. So I'm going to rotate back and forth. You can see how my pelvis has to stay straight here. I'm not going to be able to cheat or else the ball will fall. So I'm staying driven into the wall with this ball here and I'm going back and forth and I should feel my mid back, my chest, maybe even my shoulders open up with this exercise. You can move your neck as well. Your neck doesn't have to stay straight the whole time. Just let your neck move with the body, whatever is most comfortable for you. For this exercise, I'm going to begin in a half kneeling position. My leg closest to the wall will be against the wall, but I'm using a ball. So I'm going to have to make sure um, my leg stays elevated here. It's never going to fall into this position. It's always going to be pushing up against the wall to keep my pelvis neutral here. Now, my arm is going to be directly in front of me here. And what I'm going to do with this arm closest to the wall is rotate open, meaning op rotating towards the wall as far as I can. I'm trying to really bring my chest towards the left here. So bring in that chest towards the left as far as I can. If that's all I got, that's fine. I like to even push in with this left hand into the wall and rotate a little bit more to get a little extra umph here. And that should be really feeling, you should feel a stretch in that mid back area. So you're opening up the chest and then coming back to starting position. Very slow and controlled. This shouldn't be a quick movement. Opening up, rotating, pushing in. You wanna bring the chest as close as you can facing this wall here and then come back to starting position. You're gonna feel a shoulder move, but really a majority of the movement should be coming from your mid back area. For this exercise, what I'm gonna be doing is putting a ball up against the leg that's closest to the wall. Now my knee's pushing up against the wall and I'm in this half kneeling position. My arm, both arms will start in front of me in this position. Now I'm going to rotate my body open, leading with, the sh with, leading with this arm as far as I can. If I can get all the way back, even better. This is about my max right here. And then I'm going to rotate back forward to the starting position. And as I go back, what you want to think about is opening up the chest. You can even push into this hand, which is going into the wall a little bit too. That'll help open up your mid back a little bit more. And you should feel your chest open up. You should feel the mid back moving a pretty good amount. And that's where a majority of the exercise should be coming from. I don't want you to feel a stretch in the pelvis and the hip region much. This region shouldn't be moving as much as the mid back area. You wanna actually keep the pelvis relatively straight. You don't wanna rotate the whole body with this exercise. So again, you're going back and forth here.